Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to our very first podcast. Um, we're calling it a podcast for now, but we don't know what we'll call it in the uh, in the long run. Um, but I want to welcome the very first guest. He's Mark Spreisler. Um, as you might know, I was product manager for many years at Automotive. Um, Mark took over uh, almost one a year exactly, isn't it, Mark? Yep, that's right. Yeah, so how's it going? How are you finding the job? Well, that's interesting. Um, sometimes challenging, but also a lot of uh, different works to do. So it's, yeah, it's really good. I like it. Yeah, that's, uh, I think it's the best job in the company. Um, so the reason that we wanted to talk today is we wanted to talk about the new uh, UCS 200N. What are we calling it? The, the dot two and the dot three, right? Yeah, that's right. And that and that comes in that comes in different um, that comes in different currents, right? It's twenty five, fifty. No, fill it's in the rest? Uh, fifty and a hundred amps, hundred fifty and two hundred amps. And you would choose that based on your DUT's consumption, right? Or or, or your right or your project yeah. consumption, right? Yeah, that's correct. So. I, I worked on the project at the very beginning. I was I was I was also on the standards committee, and, and and if I remember right, there was some there was some discussion about improving the the performance of the various generators, uh, making them work closer, more close together from behavior under certain situations. Um, how did it all start? Um, yeah, the the idea was that there is a, a extended pulse verification at the generators so at the moment um, it's not considered to have battery voltage applied if you do a loaded pulse verification right, yeah, so right, the true. loaded pulse verification is always without battery voltage that's how it's uh, defined in the iso standard mm -hmm. and the idea was now that uh, we uh, do an extension so we apply battery voltage as well when we do the loaded verification. But uh, such a condition comes with some challenges for the generator. So there were some um, uh, engineering works uh, required and that's how it actually started. Yeah, I remember like like you, you had cases where, where uh, so I have to do this and I have to do this backwards because of the camera. So I remember that, that two things occurred. Sometimes the pulse would sink down into the battery voltage and also it would have like a like a kind of kind of bad undershoot or yeah. kind of a bad ringing at the end of the pulse right that's right yes exactly and also the, the pulse shape looks a little bit different if you do that with battery voltage applied and and loaded condition and this also uh, this all has to be taken into into account yes mm -hmm. so we spent like what was it? A year or two yeah, years? I think it was a year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, yeah. It, was, it was it was a long project, and, and we worked we worked closely, obviously, with the standards committees because where the idea or or the concern came from. But yeah. uh, as I recall, the in in the end that that well the the the, the standard was 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 put aside. Right? We the, the, that that extended verification is not in the standard, right? Yeah, that's true. So maybe how this all came about might be a topic for another another discussion. Um, be sure to put a comment down below if you think uh, that's something you'd like to hear about. Maybe we'll 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 cover it in future editions. So so this uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the the dot two replaces the default model without without a dot, right? Or, um, that's the one, correct. Yes. The UCS we've been making for I don't know. 20 years or something, 15 oh, years, 15 right? 15 at least, if, yes, yeah, yeah. correct. And then the dot three replaces the dot two, oh, uh, the dot one, right? Yeah. And and that was the one with the... The special uh, pulse for the Volkswagen with the four ohm. Right, yeah, yeah, uh, right, right, right. Is that still a topic, this four ohm thing? I, I, I kind of got mixed messages. It messes. is still. Like, it, is, it is still a topic. Yeah, it is still. So if you basically if you're if 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 you're working closely with with uh, with with Volkswagen, you should go with the dot three or depending. Yeah. On, you should okay. So so the difference uh, is uh, that you have the the Volkswagen uh, pulses built in. You're losing the JSO pulses. 
right, right, so right. For, for Europeans, uh, that shouldn't be big of an issue. For Asians, uh, that might be a challenge. So, mm -hmm. um, but we, we just couldn't make it to, to have both of these uh, pulses built inside. Right, 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 right. So, so th these are available. Uh, if I remember your announcement, these are available now, right? Yep. From yeah. uh, first of February, they are ready to order. And, and and one of the things one of the things from the standards committee we were we were concerned about is w w when we were going to when we were still planning on working that extended verification to the standard, which of course has fallen away now, was uh, was upgrades. Yep. Right. True. So. So what about upgrades? Are we we're, we're, we offer? Are we planning to offer upgrades now? For, yes. Because so that's that's the intention to to offer upgrades uh, to to our customers, and um, it's still uh, in process. So it's not finished yet. But I expect to have the the upgrade sets available by end of the first quarter, twenty two. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, then I would presume that that uh, you know if if you like if you like these changes if you like the you know if you like to be up to date and and in line with the intent of the standards writers if not the if not the actual standard uh, then uh, you I, I presume you would contact your 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 local sales and service organization to to ask about when those upgrades yeah. are, when 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 you're ready to upgrade yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's true yeah absolutely okay. big big. Big changes and a little bit of drama behind it, but stay tuned. Maybe we'll do another podcast on that. Um, yeah, so it's exciting to hear that. Uh, yeah, we're 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 updating the UCS, and uh, but but really, it's just a long. It's the end of a long chain of something like twenty years of development, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. So the the UCS two hundred series is is at least for fifteen years on the market and of course the engineering of it has started earlier yeah, yeah, yeah. okay mark uh, i i want to thank you very much for being on the very first podcast um where we're constantly working new ways of communicating especially especially at these troubling times and uh um yeah thanks a lot mark thanks for having me